Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be designing some Y2K, so year 2000 inspired uh, print on demand designs that I think we'll be able to sell some in the next month or so with December right around the corner. And of course, that means New Year's Eve. Everybody's gotta have a fun t-shirt to wear to their New Year's Eve parties. So this is gonna be a little bit of a throwback uh, design episode. And really, you know, I'm, instead of guessing, I'm just gonna use uh, some really quick and easy niche research to be my guide. And then we're gonna jump on over to Kittle to create the designs. So let's get right to it. All right, so to start, I came on over here to Etsy and I just did a quick search for Y2K shirt. And you'll actually see, by the way, this is always something I would like to remind everybody, but when you type into the search bar, it has this really awesome autocomplete feature, which helps you uh, see what people are typing into the search bar, quite literally. So you can see Y2K shirt, Y2K shirt men, vintage, crop, aesthetic, women's, cross. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys that there. And then check this out. This is not the first time someone's typed in a Y2K shirt and you see that Etsy did this most loved section and is giving us some ideas right there at the top. Uh, so, I mean, I don't even need to know what these niches really are. I just need to know what the text is on the shirt. So what does that say? Be kind, I guess it says. Some weird, <laughs> weird kind of like graffiti style fonts. Uh, this says inhumane. Uh, this says authentic inhumane again so so here we go inhumane so you can kind of get an idea for the design styles here as well that people are looking to buy based on what etsy is putting in front of us um obviously a design like this would be pretty simple um okay so why don't we try to make something inspired by you know these star type 3d type designs and obviously what i love about kittle is that right when you log in guys uh you get all these templates from other creators that use kittle that made them available um, that you can use as jumping off points. For instance, I liked the uh, potential idea of using this one, you know, because it has that like 90s vibe, uh, 90s to early 2000s vibe. Uh, we'll call it the Y2K vibe. Uh, here's one with a star that wasn't even planned, but I mean, this could not be more perfect for the Y2K theme. Here's another one. Um, so it's almost like this was meant to be, honestly. I think we could do a lot with this one as well. So what do you guys think? Let's start with this one. And obviously with Y2K, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I probably think of like, you know, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Britney Spears, all those uh, pop stars, right? But we can't sell anything related to them. So that's kind of just off the table. I mean, maybe you get away with like, this isn't something I would do, but you could maybe do like a free Britney shirt, right? Because people think Y2K, Britney Spears, free Britney, kind of like the newer stuff. But I, I mean, I wouldn't do that, especially not on Amazon merch, by the way. Um, so I'm going to delete these bats first and foremost. Okay, and just leave the stars. And what's cool here is that now we also have the text already built in. So uh, we could continue to do our niche research, like for the sake of this YouTube video not going on for too long, I'm not gonna go down some crazy rabbit hole trying to figure out what inhumane is. Um, you would normally wanna trademark search it, but for the purpose of a design tutorial video, um, why don't we just, whoops, that wasn't the one here, this one. Why don't we just uh, go ahead and double click into this text layer and just type in inhumane, okay? And then when you click out, it will apply that, 3d kind of shadow effect uh by the way how awesome is it that they had the basically the exact templates i needed for this design whoops now i want to click into the small text layer delete and now here the next step is i would honestly figure out what kind of uh what 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 color shirt i want to publish to really uh the light blue is not something that i traditionally do i mean you could again again go to etsy though and just kind of scroll and get an idea for like what people may be looking to um to purchase now the primary thumbnail it's not like amazon um it, it's not there's no bsr right so we don't really know what the primary colors are going to be that are most popular but uh, in this case you know if it's like a shirt for you know girls maybe you do the pink uh in this case i think this is pretty gender neutral if i had to guess so um i could go ahead and just switch this to white and i think it looks good against white if we switch it to black it would not look as good we'd have some editing to do but what's cool is that if we did want to publish this to Black Designs, guys, um, you can always in um, Kittle, you know, it's very uh, easy to, you know, edit this stuff. So I could just click into those objects and then it says object color and you can kind of play around with um, tweaking the object colors as well. And from there, kind of optimize it for if we wanted to like a black shirt, you see what I just did there and then switch the background up. And you can see, I mean, obviously, like, that's not perfect. I just wanted to kind of show you guys really quickly how easy in Kittle you can um, change the color of these objects and whatnot. Whoops. So we've got the Inhumane shirt right there. Uh, what else can we find on Etsy? We can probably crank out another one really quickly. Um, <laughs> a lot of the 
you know, 60s, 70s kind of retro font. People are still loving that on Etsy. Um, Y2K, you could just do one that says Y2K. Why don't we have some fun with the other uh, Kittle template right here <laughs> and just make it say Y2K, right? Y2K, maybe delete this, delete that. Um, the background kind of pattern, I mean, it's up to you whether or not to keep that. I actually like this font in general for a Y2K inspired design. Now, the one thing that's weird about this template is normally you can just kind of click into these objects. You know, if I move the text, you can just click into these objects and delete them, but it seems like they're kind of built into the background here. Uh, even when I tried clicking remove background and downloading this, it was still um, there. It was still included. So you might want to remove that if you didn't want it in your final output. But it's worth noting that, like, I think this is a great font for Y2K designs called Brinky Mono. All right. I think it just looks really good. It reminds me of being in whatever I was in, like elementary school or middle school back then. Uh, where'd the time go? Um, you can see here the effects that they did. They had it angled just, uh, just slightly. Um, they had the angle applied. You know what I mean? You can mess around with that. Um, the border, they have an orange border applied. You can mess around with the border weight as well. All right, so that is up there. I think they had it set to about 20. And then the next tab over next to text settings, you can see the text effects. So they had the um, block shadow there selected. You can play around with, you know, all of the various things to set up your, it's almost like a second border. Uh, they call it a block shadow though, uh, including the color. So you can mess around with that as well as you see fit. And um, to me, I mean, that's an easy, easy way of creating two Y2K designs that, you know, with New Year's right around the corner, guys, it couldn't be easier. Um, you're, I don't know if you guys see these videos and are like, man, Ryan, but that wasn't that useful in terms of like a design tutorial. But I hope you're just at least kind of, it's like you're looking over my shoulder as if you're here with me. Uh, this is exactly what I would show you in terms of creating print on demand designs, because like I always say, you don't get bonus points for spending two hours on one design. Uh, you get bonus points in the form of money in your bank account when you make a sale. And if Kittle's going to make it easy for us to create high quality designs in the niches, like, I mean, this was perfect. I didn't plan this. Uh, I swear I didn't plan this, but they had templates that were perfect right there on the home screen for what's coming. You know, the Y, you know, New Year's Eve, Y2K, obviously it's going to be some interest there. Uh, it just worked out beautifully. So guys, check out Kittle. It's linked at the top of the description. Uh, go ahead and let me know if you have any uh, questions, comments, feedback, or like ideas for future um, design videos inside of Kittle. Uh, let me know. I'd love to see them. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.